Hello Virgo! This is a general reading for a large audience, so although when I prepare I do pray and ask that all of you receives at least one message, let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them, and prepared them. We are going to go ahead and pull three cards today from Doreen Virtue's Archangel Power Tarot deck. And we're going to pull one from John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. And two from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels deck. Let's go ahead and see how we're lined up in here. First card we have is Two of Gabriel. And if you see the bottom of it, it says, Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So what I'm getting is, for some of you, you are in a relationship and you're, you're going through a bit of turmoil. A lot of arguments because you, you're not seeing eye to eye. It really is just causing you when, you, when you look at this card, they're having stand out to me, the ocean. Um, that's indicative of emotion. So I, I get that it's going to be an emotional, but it's really because you and your partner are not seeing eye to eye. And what they're wanting you to know is just to, to lean on them and ask for help. And they will help you come up with creative solutions and ways that you and your partner can compromise and meet in the middle so that you can get back to that happy place where I'm seeing that you, that you will get. I do get, I do see a, a positive outcome. I do see a resolution to the disagreement and argument and you will get there. It's just gonna take a little bit of action on your part and um, and I get thinking outside of the box because it's almost like you're, you're not budging. Like he wants one thing, you want another thing. Neither of you is compromising and the pot's just boiling over. But I do get you will come to a solution, resolution, a compromise, but it is gonna have to be putting down your own guard, your own sword. And, and seen from the other person's perspective and and that will help you come up with the come up with the solution that's going to work for both of you and get you back to a happy place and for some of you I get that this is talking about you know it's talking about progress and it's talking about making a choice almost like I get some of you have been in a relationship not necessarily a committed relationship and you're just really not making the decision to take it to that next level. You're stuck in a place of indecision. And what they're wanting you to know is, is don't let indecision keep you from moving forward. Go ahead, trust your intuition, um, meditate on it. And the right choice and decision, it's not going to come from you, you know, thinking it through logically. It's, it's going to come from listening and following your heart. So they're encouraging you to do that. So that way you'll stop being stuck because I get that you're, you're stuck because you're in a, in a place of indecision. Um, and that in order to move forward, you, you are going to have to make a choice and decision and, and have some action moving forward. And I get for a small number of you that that indecision to move forward is, I get that for some of you, you're in a same-sex relationship and you're hesitant to let your family know and people know out of fear of what they're going to say and think and um what they want you to know is you look at this card and you see how calm the waters are i forget for those of you that are in this situation you're just terrified that's going to be some emotional uproar people are not going to take it very well and what what they're trying to say is is the waters will be calm it, it's not really going to be as difficult and um, for some of you like heartbreaking for your parents and emotional as you think it's going to be. I get that it will go well. I get that you just need to make that choice and, and, and have the confidence to be able to, you know, move forward in that relationship fearlessly and um, let go of the fear of letting your, your parents, your family, your loved ones know that. Because I don't, I don't see a negative outcome from it. I do think that they're going, I'm getting that they're going to take it well. And I get that you're spending more time worrying over it and, and the things that you're, you're envisioning happening are not gonna happen at all. So I want you to know that you can move forward. Next card we have is Four of Ariel. When you read the bottom of it, it says, when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. So what I'm getting with this is there's a number of you that are in relationships 
where you're giving more than they are giving. You know, relationships, they're, they're not always 50-50. You know, sometimes we're going to give more, sometimes our partner's going to give more, but I'm getting that you in your relationship, you are repeatedly giving more than your partner and, it, and it's causing a lot of conflict and resentment because, you know, you don't feel that they're, they're doing their part that they're, you know, keeping up and that's and that's also making you feel unappreciated, unsupported, unloved because you feel as though you're giving it your all and they are not. So this would be a, for you to rebalance that to have that conversation with them and get that get it rebalanced because if the relationship stays out of balance for so long, it could ultimately lead to ending the relationship. But I, I do see that if, if you can get it back in balance, you'll, you'll get things back on track and get that spark back in the relationship. I do get it salvageable. Um, you're just going to need to have that, that honest, open conversation with your partner. Now, I'm also getting for some of you that the, the giving, receiving, it's, it's financial matters. Like your partner is way overspending well beyond your means, putting you in, in a bad financial predicament. And, and I'm getting for that, that if that's not balanced, that that could indeed lead to um, relationship ending because it is, it is putting you, your, your home, it's putting you in a really tight spot because of the overspending. And, and hopefully it's not you that's overspending, but if so, it'll make it easier to uh, fix that and get that back in balance. But I do get that you, you, would benefit from working on that, getting that um, balance of give and take financial spending balanced back out so that you can uh, be able to proceed forward and get rid of that. Because I do get there's a lot of arguments around that. And even for some of you that aren't arguing, I, I get that there's almost like a grudges, uh, you know, unhappy, you know, your, your partner can feel it. You can feel their unhappiness. Um, this will get you back to a happy place if you can get that balance. Next card is Eight of Raphael. And if you read the bottom of it, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. And what I'm getting for most of you that this is just letting you know that it, it is time for you to move forward. Now, for those of you that are in a marriage, I'm not saying go in your marriage to first try everything that you can. Like if you've not tried counseling, if you're having financial arguments, go get some counseling, try to get some help, try to work on that, try to get yourselves back in balance. Um, but I get for some of you, you know, you're in a committed relationship, not that it necessarily means married, but you've been, you've been trying to make it work for a really long time and you've tried everything from vacations to counseling to workshops together to everything to try and and salvage the relationship and it's it's just not it's just not working and what I'm, I'm what I'm getting is it's time for you to go ahead and have faith and know that you've done everything that you can and it, it's safe and best option for you to be able to move forward because they do have something better waiting for you next card we have is seek. And if you look at it, it's a lovely card, he's in a meditative state. What I'm getting with this is, with regards to love, that a number of you, you're, you're, you're so engrossed in your, your relationship. Like for those of you that are in a relationship and you know you're having arguments because of give and take, that you know, you're so engrossed in that, that, you know, you're accepting them not giving to you, you're just giving them your all and you've lost sight of yourself and your importance and your significance. Um, and for some of you that aren't in a relationship, it's almost like you're, you're constantly wanting that relationship and thinking about it and longing it. And it's just, you know, it's overwhelming you um, and you've lost your, your, your perspective. And, and for those of you that are single that, you know, just keep thinking about it all the time and how you wish you were in a relationship and you wanna be in a relationship, that those are thoughts of lack and, and unfortunately, what that, will, what that will draw to you is more lack. Um, so what they're encouraging you to do is to really just take a step back, either from the relationship that you're in, to really focus on you and what do you want, what do you need to be happy? Because for those of you that are in the relationship, you've just lost sight of you and your importance and, and the things that you desire. Maybe you're just overwhelmed with taking care of, you know, 
kids all the time maybe now they're teenagers and you actually get a little bit of break to yourself and you're realizing okay I don't know who I am anymore I don't know what I enjoy anymore I've lost me along the way well this is the time for you to go and have that introspective and, and really rediscover yourself what it is that makes you happy what it is that you desire what it is that you need and for those of you that are just you know longing those of you that are single that are just longing for some relationship thinking that's going to make you happy you're never going to get that until you're happy um because once we are happy and healthy and whole and we know that we on our own single are enough then we will attract and bring that healthy partner to us who's going to complement our life um, so this is for you to to really find you again start having fun again start doing the things that you enjoy start focusing on you um, take a little vacation take a take a walk in nature just really focus on you and the things that make you happy and, and, and really also for those of you that you know are single I'm getting for some of you to even just really because I get for some of you, you're, you're longing for relationships so badly, you keep bouncing from like these short-term relationships over and over and over again, because each one of them is not right. Because it's as though you've not sat down to really think through, what is it that I desire in a partner? What is really going to fulfill me and make me happy? So for those of you in that situation, so that you don't hop into another month long relationship that leaves you, you know, kind of feeling empty and like what went wrong again this time, that this is for you to, to sit down and really put together a, a list of the things that you desire and you need in a partner. And then give that to God and, and trust that he and angels are, are going to bring that to you. And then they will. Next card we have is healing family issues. When you look at the bottom, it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I, I get for some of you that, you know, you've got arguments, you've got arguments and disagreements that have led to, to the end of potential end of a relationship. You've got fears about opening up to your, your parents. Um, again it's almost like settling like allowing your partner to only give you know two percent of the time and you're giving the other 98 percent of the time which is you know a lack of worth a lack of value I, I get those things are stemming from family issues that need to be healed you know your feelings toward your mom your mom or your dad um so I'm getting that you would benefit from from releasing that anger toward them and that once you can forgive them then you'll be able to move forward and, it, and it's not that you know you're condoning their behavior you're you're saying that that's permissive um it's just that you're forgiving him or her so that you can move forward into your happiness and into your bliss and not and not carry that that toxic energy those toxic feelings around with you any longer and for some of you I get that this is even tied to um, healing issues with, with past partners, um, like your ex-spouse or your ex, um, or maybe they hurt you, you know, deeply, and maybe you had children involved in the marriage, and, and maybe you're really hesitant to move forward with someone else because you don't want your kids to go through that again. You don't want to go through that again. Um, you've really just put up a wall because of it. This would be for you to also release the the anger in that release all that toxicity that you held on to and you've been holding on to so that you can move forward and last card we have is worth waiting for and the bottom of it says divine timing is at work in your love life so for those of you that keep pining and longing for that relationship and you know really keep wanting to pull it in what what they're wanting you to know that you will have that relationship you desire. It is going to happen. Um, but it is a thing of divine timing. It's kind of like a puzzle piece. Everything has to fit in into place one at a time. So there are things, you know, for example, there are things you need to heal. Um, like maybe you need to start focusing on what makes me happy and not sit thinking about this relationship that you think is going to make you happy. You spend the time of 
finding happiness with yourself just as you are. And you work on all that healing. And meanwhile, your partner that they've got for you, they're working on healing themselves and getting them in a position so that when the two of you are ready to move forward and meet, you're both ready for that relationship. Um, because it is worth waiting for. Um, and, and they just want you to have patience because, you know, divine timing is, you know, typically that's a lot that's going on behind the closed doors that we have no clue about. Um, and oftentimes when it all does work out, we'll see and we'll have an aha moment of, oh, that's what it was about. But right now you're not going to know. So right now you just need to trust and have faith and know that, you know, God does have a partner for you. It is going to happen. Just focus on you right now. Loving you, knowing your worth, knowing your value, having fun. And when the time is right, it will happen. So hopefully that all helped. Thank you for all of your subscribing to my channel, your, all of your comments. I love reading your comments and feedback that you have. Um, so thank you for that. And I wish you a month filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.